The U.S.'s secret plan has been revealed. They will do this to corner Turkey. Iraq Kluwer drew attention to Trump's opposition to the PKK in his Turkey policy. De Kluwer stated that Turkey will gain an advantage over the U.S. with its national power. He expressed that Trump's new Turkey policies will be in Turkey's favor despite some cabinet members who are pro-PKK and Israel. De Kluwer stated that Turkey's national power capacity is forcing U.S. administrations to change. De Kluwer stated that the Turkish armed forces have increased Turkey's power in the field with the measures taken at the border and domestic defense systems, and noted that the U.S. will enter a new era in its relations with Turkey. De Kluwer, drawing attention to the fact that the results of this change will be seen in the near future, said the following in his article. After Donald Trump was elected as the 47th president of the USA, one of the most curious topics is how the policies that the new administration will implement in the upcoming period will affect Turkey. When we look at the cabinet members that Donald Trump has announced so far, their common feature is that they are Zionists and servants of Israel, as well as many of them being members of the PKK Lovers Association. I mention the PKK Lovers Association ironically, but there is actually no such association. But unfortunately, many of the cabinet members have made statements such as being PKK sympathizers. In addition, some of them have pictures with Fed apparatus. However, not the entire cabinet, but the vice president and a few Republican politicians have made statements indicating that Turkey, not the PKK, should be supported due to Turkey's security concerns. Therefore, the situation at the U.S. administration table seems clear. But the situation on the ground is not like that. It seems that Israel will form the basis of the U.S.'s Middle East policy in the upcoming period, as it has until now. When Israel is the center of the U.S.'s Middle East policy, we can naturally say that a process that will lead to the ties of Sunni Arab states to Israel and the Continuation of the weakening of Iran awaits us. However, there is the PKK apparatus between Israel and Iran, which bothers Turkey. The PKK, which is a useful apparatus for Israel and Iran, is a security problem for Turkey. For this reason, it seems that Turkey will continue its multifaceted and multidimensional struggle through the PKK. In fact, a very interesting paradoxical situation emerges. When the two so-called enemies are the PKK, they can come to terms. But the most powerful actor on the ground is Turkey. And therefore they cannot make much noise. After all this, if we return to the US's Turkey policy, I think that despite the pro-PKK and pro-Israeli cabinet members, the US-Turkey relations will continue in the direction of Turkey's effectiveness. There are four main reasons for this. The first is the political stability that has been achieved in Turkey for more than 20 years with the national and powerful government under their leadership of Mr. Erdogan. Within the political stability, the national and powerful government has never stepped back or made concessions in the fight against terrorism. Naturally, the effects of this determined stance on the U.S., administrations and even on the administrations of other countries, especially in Europe, have begun to be seen. The second is the measures taken by the Turkish armed forces on the Iraq and Syria border. Not only the fight against terrorism, but also the measures taken by our heroic army against possible fate accompli attempts to establish a de facto terrorist organization. In Syria and Iraq and the deterrence created constitute a situation that the U.S. administration has to take into consideration. The third is the steel dome air defense system. I have said it many times and I'm saying it again in the near future. Countries without a steel dome will face the risk of occupation and Turkey is the only country in the region that has a truly integrated air defense system like this steel dome. Finally, the Khan aircraft. The Khan national and domestic warplane is not only a warplane, but also an air attack platform. Each of the Khan aircraft is a strategic weapon and will also manage a large number of Sita Yaha during the operation. 
If you add all these up, of course the U.S. has to change. Of course. The U.S. has had to change its attitude and style towards both us and the PKK. Depending on Turkey's increasing national power capacity, we will see the results in the near future.